Hello learners, once again I welcome you. My name is Wile Ensinikweli, who is still going to handle mathematics P7 class. Hope you are very fine. Remember last time when we met, we had some, I left with you some few numbers that we are supposed to be under finding unknowns and a finite system as we saw together. So today we are still solving equations involving finite system. And this time I've involved just one or more equations involving finite system. Do they look like the other ones or there is a difference? Ask yourself, could it be the same or there is a difference? In this case, there is a difference. But before I start, uh, in this case, we shall have equations that involve brackets. So, I want you at the end of the lesson, whereby each of you knows how to open the brackets in terms of equations involving finite system. After opening the brackets, what are you supposed to do next to solve the way we are solving in the previous uh, lesson? What I mean, the difference between the, other, the previous lesson and today's lesson, this time we are going to involve brackets and we make sure that at the end of this lesson, you know how to open the brackets. After opening the brackets, you are able to solve. Those are the two things, the main issues you are supposed to have learned at the end of this time, at the end of this lesson. So, let's watch. Assume you have been given, let's try to have some examples. Hope you have been told to solve two into y plus two, and the answer is three, but we are dealing with finite five. How do you go about this? Watch and follow the steps properly. As I told you at the end of the, the lesson, make sure that you know how to open the brackets. P6 will learn how to open the brackets, whereby you need to make sure that two is multiplied by y, and at the same time, two is also multiplied by the second figure within the brackets. Then the brackets will disappear. How do we do that? As we learned in P6, this is two times y. Two times y, give me the answer. Somebody saying two y. Then we come back, as you see this arrow is telling us that we say two times two, remember the plus will remain, Two times two, we have four. Then this will be three, and this is finite five. Now, I want you to relate this equation on the second step to the previous equations we had. For sure, here we can move, just borrowing the idea from the previous lesson. So we shall only say two y plus four, we eliminate minus four is equal to three minus four, but this is finite five, okay? Now, when you got this step, we shall have two y. Now, it is three minus four. Hope you still remember, when the first figure is less than the next, we shall not have a negative as we had it in P5 under integers. Instead, we have to make sure that we enlarge this three by bringing the finite whereby we shall have three plus five. So we shall be able at least to subtract four, and this is finite five. So here it will be two y equals three plus five. What do you get? Very good, eight. So I think eight, we are able to take away four, but still this is finite five. Still we shall maintain our coefficient and the subject, and this will give us four finite, 
5. What next after here? We divide both sides by the coefficient. 2 divided by 2. Somebody is giving me the answer 1. We remain with the subject. And 4 divided by 2. Somebody is saying we get 2. But still, this will be finite 5. Hope these things are very simple. Just from the idea we had in the previous uh, lesson, the difference I've told you is just a matter of opening the brackets. And you've seen the technique, which is very, very simple. So, finally, this is our answer. And we shall just get our ruler smartly underlined to show you that, sincerely, you are a good mathematician. If we happen to have the second example, hope you are ready to go with me. Even if I keep quiet, you'll go with me very well. If I have two examples next, assume you have been told to find the unknown. Which unknown am I talking about? In this case, assume we have 3 into P plus 1, and this is giving me 4, and I'm applying this word mod. Remember, as I explained before, this word finite can be used in this case. We can use the word mod. In, this is in short, in the full, which is modular, but you have to be careful of the uh, abbreviation, which is M-O-D. Who said you must get 3, you multiply by P, again you go back at 3, again you multiply by 1. Hope you are ready to open the brackets with me. So, 3 times P, what do you get? Yeah, somebody saying 3P. We have to maintain this operation of plus. Whereby 3 times 1, what do you get? Somebody saying 3, and we remain with 4, and it is mod 8. Who can give me the next step? Just compare the second step and the previous lesson. Sincerely speaking, we can just move smartly. I've said here, the technique we have today, or the emphasis is just opening the brackets. Second step, we just go back to the previous idea. So here, let's eliminate three, whereby we shall have three P plus three minus three equals four minus three, and this is mod eight. Okay? This time, subtraction here is working for us. Whereby we shall have 3p, and this will give me 3 minus, 4 minus 3, you get 1. Oh. And this is mod 8. Now, when you go back to the previous idea, and now our coefficient is 3, our subject is p, but now, can we get 1 divided by the coefficient? Somebody may say yes. Somebody may say no. Teacher, what is it? Let's see. As we had it there, we shall make sure that we look for the multiples of 3. How? By adding the mod. Will it give us a multiple of 3? 1 plus 8, what do you get? Yes, 9. But is a 9 a multiple of 3? Yes. So I think we shall move. So we shall have 3p equals 9. Then we divide both sides by the coefficient. By 3, we divide by 3. And our p, the value of p, is going to be 3. And this is mod 8. Hope you are watching and you are enjoying this. Just a matter of learning how to open the brackets. And the solving is normal. We move the way we move the other time. But have we underlined our answer, members? Let's underline. To show that, sincerely speaking, we've reached at the end of this equation that we are told, oh, how we've been finding the unknown. The unknown, in this case, is P. Let's now try to find the value 
of x as our example 3. Assume it has been given as find the value of x. In other words, here they are telling you solve for x. But still remember, we are under equations involving finite system. So our equation this time is 2 into x minus 3. And this is 2, and this is finite 7. I want you to note the, 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 the difference between the, the, the first example I had, the second example I had, up to the answer, and compared it to the third. Have you observed the difference? Yes, somebody is saying something. The teacher, there is a difference. Which difference have you observed? Hey, it has been addition here, it has been addition here, but teacher, you've brought subtraction. How do you go about that? We are not going far from our idea of opening the brackets. Still, we shall follow the same route in terms of opening the brackets, and we shall maintain our subtraction sign. And then it will be 2 times x. Give me the answer. Do we get 2x or we get, we get x2? It is 2x, not x2. Then we shall maintain our subtraction sign. Then we go back to 2 times 3. This will give us 6. Then this is equal to 2. And this is finite. Finite 7. Hope you are watching and you are enjoying, by the way. So let's eliminate. Shall we eliminate again by subtraction the way we did it this way? Oh, this time, round we are going to eliminate it by adding 6 both sides. This will be 2x minus 6 plus 6 equals 2 plus 6. And this is none other than finite 7. If we have 2x, this will give us 2 plus 6. What do you get? Very good, somebody's getting eight. And this is finite seven. What next? Here our coefficient is two, our subject x. Is eight a multiple of our coefficient? Yes, eight is a, multi I mean eight is a multiple of two. So mm, we divide both sides by two, two divide by two. Somebody's giving me one over there. And here we remain with x, and 2 divided by 2 get 1, and 8 divided by 2, somebody saying 4. And this is finite 7. Hope you are watching and you are enjoying this. Yes? What last thing are you supposed to do in terms of mathematics when you have already found the value of x? Please, take note underline the answer for proper countability. Now, the rest of the examples, I had more, but I'm sure I'm going to give it to you following at least the three I've given you. I'm sure you are able, you'll be able at least to answer my few questions that I'm going to give you. Remember our emphasis this time has been opening the brackets. But after opening, what do you do? Going back to the previous lesson, we are solving equations involving final system. We did it, and it was perfect. Now, after opening the brackets, it is like you are going back at the previous lesson, and that's how it moves. I know you have been watching all this very well. You have observed the examples. And now, the next step is to give you some few uh, numbers that at least you'll sit down and take time and write very well. I want to thank you for listening to me.